for the side of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Capricorn, the Ace of Pants energy between you and your person, Nine of Cups. And it's paired with the Page of Swords. The Nine of Cups. Well, this card is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as a wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. The appearance of this card, it's usually about happiness, good things to come. Although it usually means love, it does indicate that it's time when it would be, it would be coming into your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, and you get the Nine of Cups up, this is one of the most powerful indicators of yes. Now it's with Page of Swords. Page of Swords can sometimes stand for an actual person in our lives. And if this is the case, it will represent a person who's younger than you. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that means student, youth, immaturity someone younger than you and this one it's indicating that a message is coming in and in this instance because this page has a huge sword in his hand it's the message is coming in but it's probably not what you're hoping to hear yeah this card it tells us that this person they could be trying too hard Pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might need to study their body language and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. So the recent past energy between you and your person, Nine of Cups, clarified by this page of swords. So what I'm getting, Capricorn, is that you're dealing with someone who could be younger than you and if they're not younger than you they're on the immature side yeah because this page of swords they're the type that would keep tabs on you without you knowing they like to bring conflict maybe even drama the page of swords they will stalk you and watch you just do silly sh just do silly stuff And whoever this page of swords is, I guess, I guess it's your love interest, I guess. Um, they find you, they have very strong desire for you. With the nine of cups showing here. They feel blessed and satisfied to have you. And they feel you are their wish come true. So let's move on over and see, let's see what's going on for the two of you. We got the Three of Wands, and it's with the Empress. The Three of Wands, with this card, you could find that your finances, they're going much better. In fact, it could feel like your ship has finally come in. So, you're likely to be feeling very strong with a good reason. You could be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it does mean it does mean that your efforts, they're seen, they're appreciated, well respected. So pat yourself on the back, give yourself some credit. Now it's with the Empress. Now with this Empress, yeah, well the Empress is a type of energy that doesn't play by the rules type of person she has her own way of doing things her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors now this does not mean that she'll always get her way but the empress is a reminder not to ignore your creative your intuitive side it's about coming abundance but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially 
because we all know that there's many types of wealth, many types of riches in life, and money is actually only one of them. But just know the Empress, the Empress can have it all. She can have all of them. Very potent time for love. You can find that men and women, all of a sudden, they're finding you far more attractive as is Empress, as, as the Empress. Both in terms of friendship and romance. So, coming up, Capricorn, for you and your person, three wands clarified by the Empress. Yeah, for some reason, I'm, I'm getting that. Even though you're dealing with a page, the page of swords, someone that's on the immature side. I'm getting that because the three of wands is here. You're looking ahead. Yeah, you're, you're make when you get the three of wands, it's about making a decision and going forward. You feel like something great has finally come in. Your ship has finally arrived. So I'm getting that you know an empress. You know someone that you're really attracted to. Yeah, someone you're drawn to, and it's not this page. Uh, you might have a, uh, you might start to feel deep love for someone, like, you know, do you know an empress? Or maybe someone new is coming towards you like this empress, and it feels great. Yeah, you feel like you're going forward with this. Yeah, you've made a decision. Maybe it's someone you already know. And you're looking ahead with this person and you're wanting expansion and growth with this empress. Someone that you're really attracted to. Yeah, but this page over here, they find you as their wish come true. But you're going forward on getting without them. So why don't we move on over, let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. You got the tower, and it's with the sun card. Now the tower card, it can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo. That can be a disaster, you have to roll with the changes, it could be some people. Some situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now this doesn't have to be drastic, because we know change is the nature of life. If we try to prevent it. It's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could actually be the time that some of them come crashing down. Now that's only a problem if you let it be. Because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Now the tower is with the sun card. Which is beautiful. I love the, I just love the look of the card because whenever you get this sun card, it just pops out over all the cards in the deck. It explodes and bursts. Sunburst is what they should call it. The sun card, you could find that things are going really well, even though your finances are in good shape when you get the sun card. It doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of you. So, and others it is. But, but keep in mind, it's going to be a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. Even though we can't really do all that that much these days. But there's always the internet. You can do a socialize on, socialize on the internet. Also, when you get the sun card, if you're looking for a new job, it's an indicator, it's right around the corner. So you challenge Capricorn, the, to the tower. And it's clarified with the sun card. 
So yeah, like I said, you got someone that's younger than you. They're really into you, but they do some really messed up stuff. Because they're on the immature side. They watch you. They stalk you. They bring conflict. They bring drama. But they're, they feel you, you're, they feel like you're their wish come true. But it looks like it's, it's falling apart. It comes crashing down. Yeah, you're going for your happy. This empress is the one you feel would make you really happy. Yeah, you're going for your sunshine. Yeah. You feel like you know this empress would add a lot of sunshine to your life. Yeah, you're looking for happy days. And you already know who it's with. And it's not with this silly page of swords. It comes crashing down. It's not withstanding the test of time. You and this page. But the good thing about when you get a tower moment, you are enlightened by the disaster. Your eyes are wide open. You're no longer seeing the connection through rose-tinted glasses. There's no more fantasizing. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Knight of Cups. And it's with the Four of Wands. Now, the Knight of Cups... It's very optimistic. It's very good to see in a reading. Now, this card, it comes with messages. So, so someone could be reaching out, wanting to talk, rushing in to be with you. And usually, they're the good, kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. Knight of Cups. It tells you that things are going well. So, you're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. As you can see, he is in the picture. Yeah, charged up, ready for action. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. It tells you things are going well. You're likely to be feeling, uh, I already said that, really charged up. Yeah, ready for action. It means good news. Yeah, Knight of Cups is good. This person comes rushing in. Knight of Cups is the card above the word outcome. You see, he, he comes rushing in, wanting to be very romantic and sensitive. It deals with matters of the heart, the Knight of Cups. It's headed your way really soon, Knight of Cups, yeah. Yeah, so it's with the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands, it often indicates that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating, so make sure you go. You'll have a great time if you have a business. It's likely to be going really well. You'll be proud of yourself. Others will be proud of you also. Although this is a very positive card to get in a read. It does show there's a need to keep your wits about you. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, just know that you're still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Yeah, you know, when you see the Four of Wands, it can also indicate that you might be thinking of moving. Changing your place of residence. So, your outcome, Capricorn, Knight of Cups clarified by this Four of Wands. So, yeah. <laughs> like I said, you go f you're going for your happy. This beautiful Empress. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is where you feel you'll be really happy. And this is who you feel you would be really happy with. You, yeah, it looks like you go rushing towards this empress. 
being very romantic and sensitive, reaching out with messages of love and affection. And because that's what the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands, this card is actually known as the marriage 